What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Drippy back with another Drippy video, and today I got a very, very special video for y'all today. Now, a lot of y'all want to know about my fitness journey, and y'all want to see my body transformation. So I'm gonna start from the beginning. I'm gonna make the beginning real quick because I know y'all probably don't want to know too much about how I first, like, how I started gaining weight in the beginning. So I'm gonna spend most of my time explaining like some of the stuff I did and uh what led up to it so boom 2020 2020 is when covid first started y'all covid first started i was weighing around 145 i was around 140 145 covid hit i started my youtube channel drippy go check it out my main channel you know and i was just like playing video games just playing video games chilling uh eating at night i was eating all times of the night because i was so busy playing the game i ain't even know like i ain't even know what time to really eat so i was eating spaghetti pasta late at night 12 one o'clock in the morning eating ramen noodles all that bruh so that stuff started to catch up to me so around like the summertime which i'll say july july end of july i went outside to play basketball for the first time now I thought I still had it. I was trying to hoop. I actually got a video out on my cha my Drippy channel of me trying to hoop. And I was not fast. I was sluggish, man. The heat was getting me. When you getting big, the heat get you. My back was, my lower back started hurting. And I was like, why my lower back hurting? It was the weight. I'm telling you, the weight was catching up with me. So that's when I decided, I was like, damn, bro. I'm getting, but I was, I wasn't too tripping about it. I wasn't too tripping about it because I wasn't going outside. It was still COVID, nothing to do. I just played basketball for one time. So I went back to go gaming. I was gaming for some months and months and months. School came around. Y'all know it was my 11th grade year that I did virtual school. As soon as I got off the virtual call, I went right back to gaming, 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 gaming. Uh, I lost, I had a, had a girlfriend so she wasn't really tripping about my weight i used to always complain oh i'm getting big oh i'm getting big uh, you fine you fine you fine uh you look good and i was like all right i got comfortable that's to be honest i got comfortable i was still playing the game the whole 11th grade year y'all the whole 11th grade year so uh i went back out that 2021 summertime and I gained some more weight. I was around like 175. I gained more weight, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to you. And I actually have a YouTube channel, a video out now with me hooping back then. I was looking big. I My, my t-shirts was, my nipples poking out my t-shirts. And my belly was, you know what I'm saying? My belly was poking out. I was still hooping. But I wasn't really too focused on that at the time. So that went around. 12th grade year, 12th grade year, start, I was still gaming, I wasn't doing much, we still had the COVID mask on our face at the beginning, uh, my girlfriend, she still didn't, she didn't really care, uh, I didn't see nothing wrong, I really didn't see that much, I knew I got bigger, but I didn't know how big I really got until I had that, until I started losing weight and I started seeing a big difference, y'all, so I was still just playing video games at night, streaming, grinding, uh the chat you know what I'm saying? i mean my my friends they used to call me uh make little jokes bro you big because one of my friends he was slimming down at the time and he used to crack jokes like he wasn't big himself so that's when i was like bro why are you cracking jokes you were just big i can lose it in like two months i know i can lose it in two months i kept telling myself that in reality i knew uh, i didn't know it was going to take like it was really hard work that i had to put into this basically it was really hard work that i got to put in so all them jokes started adding up. I was like, bro, I got to get into the gym. I got to get into the gym. I did try to go to Planet Fitness. I went for a few weeks, but I didn't really know how to work out. I was just doing a little a few arm exercises. And when you big, when you big and you do arm workouts and just checks the workouts, I didn't hit the legs that much. Nothing. It was just like, what am I building? I'm building muscle underneath my fat. I got to lose the fat. I didn't know that. So I was looking all stocky. Uh, but... Here's what I really wanted to get to current time. Yeah, that was that was leading up to it. The current time. I'll say around Thanksgiving, I had a stream. And people always screen they screenshotted it and sent it to me. And I still look at back at them like, damn, I look like that. 
they screenshotted me. I had my titties just poking out. I had a long sleeve uh, shirt on, titties. Stomach was looking big. Uh, and I was, I, was I was cautious about it. You know what I'm saying? Thanksgiving 2022. Uh, I was like, yeah, man. All that mac and cheese I was eating and stuff for Thanksgiving, it, was, it, was, it made me feel bad. I was sluggish. I hate feeling bad. Like, I was feeling terrible. So I said, for my New Year's resolution, January 1st, I'm going to get in the gym. I'm going to get, I'm going to really grind. So, December time, December, came back home, uh, packed my bags, because I was going to Atlanta, y'all. I went to Atlanta, uh, January, around January 8th, January, yeah, early January. So I couldn't start working out until after Atlanta trip. During the Atlanta trip, y'all, I packed all my good clothes. I packed all my good clothes, nice, you know what I'm saying? I thought I was going to look fly, take pictures in Atlanta. No, man. When I got to Atlanta, all my outfits, they was looking, I was, you look wild, and even, it don't matter what clothes you put on, y'all. If you big, it don't look right. I had my V-Lone shirt. It was stretched out, Uh, you know what I'm saying? The V was stretched out on the back. I had my white long sleeve shirt. My nipples was poking out. I didn't, I couldn't post none of those pictures, none of them. And what really stuck with me, it was that one day. It was funny at the time, but it really had me thinking. I was like, man, why don't I look right in my outfits? I called my man Justin. I, I, I FaceTimed, FaceTimed him. I turned around. I was like, bro, what's you fuck with the fits? He's like, bro, your back look wide. He said, your back look wide as shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. And I was like, damn, bro. That really, that really motivated me. I was like, bro, I got to lose this, bro. So, here's what I, here's, here's when I first started working out. I got back home. I was so determined. I, I started cleansing. I said, man, I feel bloated coming back from ATL. Uh, I gotta take, I gotta drink these little juices, these green juices. For three days, I, I, uh, I drank them green juices, and it was cleansing out my stomach. I pooped and all that stuff. And I was like, all right, I'm ready to start. I went to the gym, got my gym membership. The guy was showing me around. Uh, I didn't, I don't know, no workouts for real. No specific workouts. I'm not a gym rat. At the time, I didn't know nothing. He was just showing me around. I measured my body fat percentage. Y'all, I was a 26% body fat. They said to get, to see your abs and start looking lean, you got to get down to around 14, like 15, 14, 13, around there. So I was like, all right, that's a good goal. I thought it was like going to be quick. I thought it was going to be like two months of just straight grinding. It was it was going to go down. Man, body fat is hard to lose, y'all. It's hard to lose. And one thing I did learn about this experience, I'm going to talk about it a little later, is that it's not really about your weight. It's a really about the body fat percentage. For real, for real. I'm going to let y'all know. Because my goal when I first started, I said I wanted to be around 160. I said if I get from... From 186, which I was in Atlanta. When I came back from Atlanta, I weighed myself. I was 186. Crazy, right? 186 pounds. I said, I'm going to get to 160, and I'm going to be good. Right? So, keep that in mind. First day, I came up with a routine, what I'm going to do. Every single day, every single day, I was going to go to the gym. Every single day. No ifs, ands, buts about it. Every day I went to the gym, I walked to the gym. That's three miles. That's an hour, hour and ten, like an hour walk. Three miles to the gym, workout, three miles, three miles back. Every single day. And I was determined. Me in the gym, I didn't really know too many workouts. I was just looking at other people, see what they did. I started working out. So the first month, month and a half, I was really like doing my own thing. Just I, I signed up for the it's called the H I T T program. It's like where you do hella exercises with your body weight. So when you first starting off, if you're a little big, start with your body weight exercises like push-ups, pull-ups, squats, uh, all of that. Add workout, leg raises, all of that right there. Don't You don't really want to go straight into the big old weights just yet. I mean, you could do a lot of strength training, but I recommend y'all go for like the the cardio without having to run too much, you know? The hit class. So I did that. I joined the hit class. It was working for me. I seen every day I recorded my weight. And some days it, my weight will fluctuate. Some days my weight will fluctuate. 
I I would eat real light uh one day and then I drink water and eat the next day and my weight would go up three pounds. I'm like, oh, am I getting bigger? I was like, I, I wasn't about to give up, but I was like, dang, is it working for real? But I had to learn it was weekly. By weekly, you got to check your, 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 your progress weekly. So you can calculate it by for a whole week, calculate all, write down all your weights and then divide it by seven and you'll see your weekly average, right? So average weekly, it should go down. So I also, it's also mainly about eating. Yeah, eating when I first started, I know I'm going everywhere because I want to make this a one-stop video, no edits. Uh, eating is very, very important. When I first started out eating, I ate decently. Like, I only ate one time a day, y'all. One time a day. That's the key thing to what I did. Eat one time a day at nighttime. I'll wake up. See, I'm a heavy sleeper, so I'll wake up around 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So, I was already good. But if you wake up early... Maybe you can get something light in the morning time and then eat dinner. But I ate strictly just dinner. And it I was eating decently. Sometimes I eat, I'll make like some, a sandwich, a soup, and a smoothie, something like that. Uh, but it's nothing compared to what I eat now. I'm going to make that a whole separate video of what I eat now. But yeah, I was eating like that. And I seen progress, y'all. I seen progress just by me walking, going to the gym, doing what I do. I was seeing progress. So, I'm going to skip a little bit ahead. The second month, it was like in the middle of the second month, uh, I had a, a guy that I met uh, playing basketball. He just so happened to go to the same gym as me. So I, And he already experienced, like he already was in the gym. He already knew what he was doing. He was just trying to gain more muscle. So, I hopped in with him. And ever since then, me and him been working out. He showed me everything, all the strength training, I still did the I still did my cardio and stuff like that. I didn't run on the treadmill at all. I did not touch the treadmill, y'all. You do not have to go on a treadmill to lose weight. Trust me. Strength training, strength training, I'm telling y'all. So he get he introduced me to supersets, and I'ma make that a whole nother video too, a separate video of the workout I do now. And that's what I've been doing for the rest of these months, y'all. It helps tremendously. Eating and a strength training workouts, I'm telling y'all. But he, he, he gave me the souls. He gave me the souls. And ever since then, like, I was losing weight, losing weight in the gym every day, walking to the gym. He, he used to offer me rides and stuff like that because I used to walk in the darkness. Man, I said, no, I want to walk. I want to walk. I want to walk. It's so peaceful walking. Let me, let me, let me explain to y'all walking. I'm just going to get into this topic just for a little bit because it really means a lot to me, y'all. When you working out and on your grind... You might not even have friends that be there for you. You gonna be all alone by yourself. That's how I was. I didn't. I didn't reach out to no friends to oh uh, congratulate me, pat me on the back. Uh, typically, I don't really have too many friends that even like or people in my life that check up on me. That's just how it is. So, I it was just me, myself, and I. My mom, she, you know, my mothers they don't really worry about like. They don't really care too much about the grind. They care about if you're safe and stuff like that. So it was just like I had nobody to talk to during this time. It was some dark, dark times, y'all. During this grind, it's dark, dark times. I, I would get up. I will go to the gym. Dark, 8 o'clock at night, walking an hour, listen to my music. But it was the best thing that happened to me. I promise y'all, being by myself, them long walks and music, Got my mind right because around that time, too, I was going through some stuff mentally. Uh, I had got out of my relationship uh, back in October. So during always since October and uh, always, you know what I'm saying, through the, the whole journey, I was by myself. I didn't have nobody to talk to. I was not looking for friendships. I was grinding, focused on one thing. So y'all got to stay focused, y'all. If y'all going to be on your grind... It don't matter what happened in your life. You got to stay showing up. Show up to the gym. Show up to the gym. No matter what, bro. I was by myself. Nobody to talk to. No outlets. Just me and my music. And now my gym partner was there to assist me and help and show me the way in the gym. So I'm telling y'all. I, I think I even got a TikTok that's up. Uh, that was up. I took it down. But it's just me walking. Just me walking. Just by myself. 
No matter it was cold outside, it was plenty of times it was cold. Just me and my t-shirt, I promise you. But let me go ahead and get right uh, back to what I was saying in the gym. Strength training. Strength training, strength training. I did that. I'm going to show y'all a video. I'm going to make a video for y'all what I do now. That brought me down. Every single week, I seen progress, progress. I was losing 12, 13 pounds in in one month. Like, crazy. Like, So, it only took me about three and a half, four months to get abs, y'all. Three, four months to get abs. That's crazy. I wouldn't even thought the way I was big like that. I wouldn't even thought I can even get abs, y'all. But I, I stuck to the plan. Show up every day. Work your ass off. And then you'll see the results, man. You'll see the results. So I hope y'all enjoy. I'm about to show a slideshow. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show y'all pictures that y'all never seen before. I know y'all probably going to clown me on it. Oh, look at this. Look at that. I mean, those old. That's not even me no more. I'm never going back to that. I'm never going back to that. So uh, hope y'all enjoy and y'all get inspired.